hello guys super mia back again so this rom is something you all of you guys have been known since long they have come up with some new update and some latest security patch of january this is of version 9.1 running on android 13 out of the box till now you have been guessed that which rom it is so introducing the cr droid rom of version 9.1 running on android 13 exclusively for poco f1 so without any further ado, let's get into it. So at the very first time, as usual, let's get into system information. So in the about phone section, you can see this is running on the latest build of the CR Droid of version 9.1. Tapping on it happens nothing. But surely again you will get this latest security patch and the vendor security patch level of January. And Android 13 is direct, that's pretty much obvious. Now let's jump into the CR Droid customizations. So this is CR Droid settings which have all the customizations as usual. So this type of view they always create and this type of customization is kind of little bulky and it doesn't give you a compiled look of all the customization at one place. So personally this is not my preferred choice if you want to give customizations to the end user. But yes they had made sure that they have included all type of customization be it quick settings, status bar or all the other stuff. They have included everything. So that's something really nice. You will get all the customization regarding lock screen, navigation bar in case you have enabled navigation bar where you will get the pixel style of navigation. So that's something really good. Into the button sections you will get all the options or power menu where you can just select all the options you want while long pressing the power button. You will also get ambient display or better called as the always on display so that it will just consume little much of your battery but that's the customization they have included too so that's something really good rest all of the customizations you will get on the deck so without any issues moving further in android 13 generic settings you will get this launcher where you will get all the options in miscellaneous options regarding icons home screen rotation and all the other stuff just work pretty much fine so you won't face any type of issues with respect to that moving further this is something really amazing that the deemed icons they have given is really really amazing that they have actually deemed all the app icons you can see that each and every and almost 90 percent of the icons are deemed so kudos to the c Android team and moving towards the widgets you will get all type of widgets which is of android 13 generic this famous clock widget where you just have to select your layout of your choice and you're good to go everything works pretty much fine moving further in customization you will get some nice options in terms of wallpaper these are some pre-installed wallpapers from the community so that's something really good so that's all in customization from the cr droid community and i'm pretty much impressed with the themed icons so that's something really really good now let's play some games that is the gaming performance of this rom so moving in cr droid settings in game space in miscellaneous you will get this option of increasing the higher fps and also all these options which you usually get in all the android 13 roms so in my case i have selected bgmi where i have selected performance mode and also angle as experimental so without any wasting time let's jump into the gameplay of bgmi and this beautiful option on the extreme top right side where you will get all the option on the deck so let's get into it so this is the TDM match of BGMI and as you can see on the extreme right top corner you will see the frame rates getting counted. I haven't faced any type of lag or issues and also all the options where you can just enable disable frame rate, 
screen recording and all the other stuff it's working pretty much fine in terms of gaming too see android is fulfilling all your needs so that's something really good now let's move further to the battery performance of this rom so talking about the battery performance then cr droid have came up with some good battery performance benchmark once you charge 200 percent it will give you about five to six hours of screen on time it can also expand up to six to seven hours if you use your phone for some daily uses such as some social media applications for calls messages so that's something really good from the cr droid community Now let's talk about the safety net check or CTS bypass. So when I installed this application and clicked on test then unfortunately I found that the safety net check was getting failed again and again. That means I guess you have to explicitly flash magis can enable the magis hide to get the root and then you can just use all your payment and finance applications. Mm, I hope CR Droid fix this. Now it's time to snap some photos that is Gcam compatibility. So this is a stock camera which you usually get in only Android 13 ROMs out of the box. Again which is pretty much boring and it's kind of of no use as everyone knows about it. But not to worry as the drill goes you can actually install the Gcam of version. Yeah there's a kick here. I have installed the latest Gcam of version 8.7 which come with all the latest settings. That's the reason you will see that the settings icon have been moved to the extreme left side at the top. And amazingly you can also record the 8K videos but make sure that you don't enable the option or your Gcam might crash. Because 8K video is not supported on Poco F1, it is also it is just supported till 4K. Similarly you will get all the options in the photos and also some camera settings where you can do some extra tweaks and some customizations. You can just select or spoof your device to take some pretty good pictures but make sure that you customize the option which you have knowledge of or else you might mess up the whole settings. So take care of that. But yes this is the latest Gcam. If you guys want how to install this Gcam in your Poco F1 then you can just comment down below in the comment box then. I will surely make a video of it but this gcam is really good and it just clicks some pretty good pictures and also some good videos so over here you will see it is of version 8.7 and that's something really good so that's about the photography section you can just install any gcam of your choice and you are good to go for it now let's move to security and direct sound in answer so in security section as most of the Android 13 ROMs is getting face unlock out of the box. Similarly you will get an IR face unlock in this ROM too. So you will get IR face unlock out of the box and also the fingerprint unlock works pretty much fine. It's really snappy and fast so you won't face any type of issues in terms of that. Also some other settings of security regarding the Google Play Protect and all the other things as pretty much updated. On the other side you will also get direct sound in unsigned sounds and vibration setting where you can just personalize your sound and you will get some really good thumping and crisp sound of your music. So that's really good. Now let's jump to my most unfavorite part that is mm, on the scores and again uh, I don't know what to say but mm, you can see this on the score is something um, I don't know what to say but uh, again it's unbelievable. So that's the reason I say that never rely on the Antutu benchmark scores. Just flash the ROM and use and just find out whether it's really reliable or you can use it or not as a daily usage or else I am there for you. I will just tell you if it's really good. Now let's jump to my final words or better said as conclusion. So in my opinion again you can use this ROM as a daily driver. The type of settings and the updates they have came up with. One of the most signifying update was the deemed icons that they have made an update where all of the icons are getting deemed as per the wallpaper so that's something really good. 
and one of the negative point is that the CTS doesn't get bypass out of the box. Maybe there might be some issue while they were improvising few things so do not worry they will surely fix that in the next update. But you are good to go with Magis, you can just flash the Magis scan, enable Magis hide and you are good to go to use all your payment applications without any issues. Leaving that, the ROM is pretty much good, it's smooth, it's stable and it's power pack like always. So you are good to go with it if you want to use as a daily driver. So that's it for the video guys, if you like this video, must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming. Until then, see you guys again in the next one. Till then, peace out.